Day of the Diver is approaching its one year anniversary of its official release, and it has become a massive success selling over 3 million copies worldwide. Now, Day of the Diver is back with a new content update, and this time it involves everyone's favorite sea monster, Godzilla. This is Day of the Diver's second free DLC pack, <coughs> well it's free until November 23rd if you read the fine print. And with the success of its previous DLC collaboration with Dredge, all eyes move toward what Mint Rocket could cook up with this new update. This is Frank from Marsman Gaming, and in this video I review the Day of the Diver and Godzilla DLC and answer some important questions. Is this DLC worth your time? How did the devs fit Godzilla into the Day of the Diver world? Does everyone still make fun of Dave's weight? Let's grab our scuba gear and dive into this. Now before I dive into what this DLC did well, I wanted to state that I reviewed both the original game and the Dredge collaborative DLC, which I will link at the end of this video. I hope you can check it out. But I have put close to 100 hours into Dave the Diver. You can call me a Dave the Diver connoisseur or a Dave the Diver loser depending on your point of view. The point being, I am a fan and I really fell in love with the mix of different content, charm, and the addicting casual gameplay loop this game provides. Now the big question I had was how would they incorporate Godzilla into this world? Given this feels like a more difficult transition than the previous DLC collaboration with Dredge. And well, they did a pretty damn good job. Now without trying to spoil too much, Godzilla looks pretty cool. They incorporate a mini story on how he arrives, you actually even get to control a new submarine mechanic as part of a new mission, and it all ends as you participate in an actual kaiju fight. Yes! yes! You actually get to be Godzilla. Hell freaking yeah. The devs for Dave the Diver continue to do a good job on incorporating aspects and mechanics from other games or media they collaborate with into this world, giving you some fresh new elements in the seamless transition to this game. We saw this with the Dredge DLC, and it continues with this one. What is actually added in this DLC is strong, from its new missions, to additional dishes you can make at the Banco restaurant, to searching for figurines in the Blue Hole Sea for additional Godzilla and Kaiju lore. I also wanted to give a shout out for how easy it is to access the DLC. Now, if you Download the DLC, it will kick in if you complete Chapter 5 of the base game. A cutscene of an earthquake will commence, which will spark the story beginning. I only bring this up because I did give the game some criticism on the Dredge DLC on making it both confusing and tedious on how to activate and access the DLC content. This one is way more straightforward and appreciate making it easier for the gamer. Now before we continue with what went wrong in the DLC, I would like to take a step out of the water to remind you that if you like variety gaming content such as reviews like this video, as well as opinion pieces and streams, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel. Also hit that bell button so you can get notifications for future content. And now back to the review. With the good, we also have to talk about the bad. Now I don't want to be a bearer of bad news, but man, there is not much in this DLC. I get it. It's free, but it took me longer to make this video than it did to play the actual content of this quote unquote content update. Doing the missions, getting the materials to make the new unlocked dishes, and finding the figurines throughout the Blue Hole Sea took me less than one hour to complete. Yes, one hour. If this is your first time picking up Dave the Diver, this probably won't bother you. And it is a nice update to add content to the original game experience. But for someone who has 100% this game like me, this felt very underwhelming. And it didn't spark me to want to put in much additional time into Dave the Diver. You get a couple additional missions, which were pretty cool, but only one boss fight. No additional fish species. No additional fish adding. No new parts of the sea to explore. No additional VIPs for the restaurant. Heck, you can't even use the submarine outside the DLC. I gave some criticism on the last DLC as it felt like this was also lacking some content and referenced that it felt like an appetizer when I wanted a meal. But this DLC is even worse. At least the other Dredge DLC gave you a new weapon you can use outside the DLC missions and new fish to find. This DLC is like when a restaurant serves you bread for the table and it's warm, soft, fluffy. Damn, I'm starting to get hungry. But it's just one piece of bread and then they kick you the hell out of the restaurant. Like what the hell man? I am not asking for another 20 hours of content for a free DLC, but this really did feel like a very light update and not really a serious DLC. Overall, I thought the Dave the Diver and Godzilla DLC had some positives and negatives. The devs continue to show the talent to incorporate and add some cool collaborations with other games and media that bring in some fresh gameplay elements and and this one
one is no different. Godzilla is cool, the missions were enjoyable, and the charm continues to flow throughout your experience. However, the actual content provided in this DLC is very thin and felt like a tease that can be completed in less than one hour. This bad boy is free once again, which I love free stuff, and a nice little addition to what is a great overall game, but this didn't spark a veteran like me to put additional time into the game outside those few new missions. I am giving this Dave the Diver and Godzilla DLC a 6 out of 10 on my galactic grade and a mixed bagged accolade. It is once again time for me to put away my scuba gear and say goodbye for now to the Blue Hole Sea. I'll be waiting in the shadows for the next Dave the Diver adventure. Oh, and before I forget, nobody made fun of my boy Dave's weight. We really are making progress. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to check out our review for Dave the Diver and the Dave the Diver DLC, which can be accessed on the end screen. This is Frank from Marsman Gaming, signing off. Game on. <laughs>